everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, thanks for joining. And I hope you'll give it a like and subscribe. It really helps promote the video on YouTube. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about how to make a muddy waterfall look a little bit better. I don't know about you, but every time that uh, I go to photograph waterfalls, if there has been a really heavy rain, like sustained rain for several days, the water tends to pick up a lot of sediment before it reaches the waterfall, so your waterfall ends up looking a little bit brown. And so I just wanted to show you real quick what I do in Lightroom to help alleviate that. And then you can do this in Camera Raw as well. I always remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections on every image that I bring into Lightroom or Camera Raw. And I'll also take care of my highlights and shadows real quick. But what I really want to do here is I want to concentrate on the water itself. So I'm going to use the adjustment brush because I don't want to make a global adjustment. Uh, this is a raw photo, so I'm having a lot of uh, reflected green light that I'm going to ultimately deal with uh, later, but what I'm concentrating on right now is I want to get this water looking a bit more white. So I'm going to select my adjustment brush, and I've got it set to a really high exposure just so I can kind of see where I'm painting here without showing the overlay. That's just one less step, I guess. But anyway, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint on this water in particular. I'm going to deal with the upper waterfall separately. But right now I just want to concentrate on this foreground one. So I'm going to bring my exposure back down to normal here. And what I want to do is concentrate on the saturation. So I'm going to take the saturation and just crank it almost all the way down. At 100% you kind of lose some of the rock color behind and you got to be careful about that. Don't just sling it all the way to the left side there and get rid of everything. You might want to introduce a little bit so that it doesn't look like you just have a 100% white waterfall there. And in this situation, I'm going to uh, boost my exposure a little bit, bring up my shadows, maybe a little bit of texture or clarity. And this is specific to taste. And I do want to whiten my whites a little bit, and this will also help. So. A combination of desaturating it and amplifying your whites or your highlights or your exposure without overexposing, now be careful when you do that, uh, will help enhance that waterfall so it no longer looks brown. I'm going to add another brush by clicking on new and I'm going to deal with this area a little bit separately here because that one was actually already brighter to begin with and I don't want to apply the same brush strokes and adjustments to that section as I did the bottom. So I'm going to bring the saturation almost to negative 100 here, negative 80 or 90. And this one's a little bit dark too, but if I raise the exposure on this one, it can quickly, I mean even, I'm not actually technically overexposing until it looks like this, but I'm losing so much detail that I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do that and add a little contrast by actually bringing my blacks down and my whites up. Okay, so now I'm gonna click done and I'm gonna use the backslash key to show you where we started and where we ended up. Just a couple of brush strokes and that really helps and takes care of it. And of course, I'll go through here and I'll work with the rest of the image as well. But typically with most of my editing, I do some global adjustments first, but I actually do very few of them. I like to work more on a local level and I'll do that either in Lightroom or bring it into Photoshop so I can take advantage of the Photoshop layers. If you're interested in learning Photoshop, I do have a class available online and I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again. Bye!